Hello everybody. Uh, today I'm making this video to uh, show you guys how I have my thermostat hooked up to my uh, solar heater. I've had uh, quite a few people ask now how is it set up, so that's the purpose of the video. Okay, um, let's get started. And it's kind of in a cramped space, so I forgive the camera shot. It's going to be kind of hard to, to show you guys. Uh, first, let me show you here. I have um, my thermostat in a pencil box. As you can open it up, you can see the thermostat sitting inside. And as you can tell, it's not hooked up because it's still summertime here or fall time. So I won't actually be hooking it up for probably one or two more months. So uh, let me go ahead and take that out of there so I can give you a better shot of it. Okay, so I went ahead and removed my uh, thermostat from the pencil box. And just to let you guys know, when this is inside the pencil box, I usually uh, just wrap it up with uh, duct tape a few times to help it with, uh, give it a little better seal. Oops. So anyway, here is my thermostat, which is a, a Hunter. This is the absolute cheapest one I could find. And I, I went to almost everywhere, and the cheapest one, uh, I think it was around low 20s, 23 dollars, somewhere in that range. And it has, you know, air conditioner, heating, all that stuff, auto fan. Alright, so uh, once I uh, got this, went ahead and tore it apart and show you the back here. And on the back, you notice this little plastic white cage here. Um, the probe is inside there, or the heat sensor, whichever you want to call it. Let's we'll call it heat sensor. Anyway, so went ahead and uh, there's just two two wires, as thin as a like a sewing needle, and a little uh, circle on the top. So cut those out of there. I actually had the neighbor go ahead because uh, he solders way better than I do. Uh, attach this very thin speaker wire to uh, where that was connected to, and. I have all the speaker wire here. Alright, see if I can get up there. Alright, so the speaker wire goes up to here, went ahead and drilled a hole in the solar heater, stuck the probe inside there, and just threw in a bunch of silicone to uh, give it a nice seal. Alright, so after I uh, went ahead and did that, I had to figure out which of these, give myself a little space here, there we go. So after that I had to figure out which one of these contacts would be the ones that I needed. And I actually, I think there's actually two that worked for me, but the one I actually went with was the Y and the RH. So I went ahead and uh, hooked up a couple wires to those, and then I'll show you what I got going on after that. Okay, uh, so from here, what I need to do is uh, go ahead and attach this back together. And I believe it snaps from the top. Okay, so that's uh, put back together and I have uh, two wires coming out of there. So we got that. Alright, so now I need a power source. Uh, generally, I would use my battery bank. But um, today I'll just be using my, uh, hopefully you can see it, my Harbor Freight 15 watt solar panel. And off of that Harbor Freight 15 watt solar panel, which would be the same as my battery bank anyway, you have uh, red wire, which is positive, black wire, which is negative. And then you have your two wires out of here. And off of your fan, which I'll be using the... Uh, 12 volt DC car fan and you just have two wires coming off of that. So now we're going to go ahead and connect them all together. I'm going to take the red wire which is positive and I'm going to use my alligator clips just to make it easier. Uh, go ahead and attach that on there. And I'll be taking the red one there and just hooking it up to, oops, 
There we go. To that one. And now I'm going to take uh, my black alligator clip, hook it up to this one, and I'm going to take my fan, make sure you can see them. Okay, I just have two wires off of this. I'm just going to randomly pick one. And if it's going in the wrong direction, just flip them. So I got a, the black one there. I'm just going to hook it up to this one. And that leaves me with two wires. I have the, the black one off the solar panel and one of them off the fan. So I'm just going to go ahead and hook up that one and that one. Now let me shut it off real quick. Okay. So let me just go through that again just in case I lost anybody. I have uh, the red wire which is positive off the solar cell going to one of the wires off of the thermostat and the other wire uh, is hooked directly to the fan and then the other wire that you have here uh, is hooked to the negative on the solar panel. So now we have a complete circuit. And for the thermostat here, just go ahead and put it on cool so it thinks that your house is too hot and the air conditioner needs to run, uh, which is how you uh, get it to blow out the heat during the winter time. It thinks that you know it's just too hot and it needs to blow the hair, excuse me, the air, you know, into your house. So, so let me go ahead and turn that back on because there's a little on and off switch here. All right. Turn it back on. See, it works, works great. Um, but I wouldn't suggest using these because, boy, they are not much to get a flex on there. Anyway, these are so loud that we just stopped using them. Like I said, we switched to uh, computer fans. So, all right, hope that uh, helps everybody who had questions about how to uh, hook up your thermostat to your. Um, so we're here, the main thing is uh, taking your your heat sensor out of this or your probe, uh, wiring it up to you know something like speaker wire, and sticking it in your uh, solar heater. So, okay, thank you for watching the video. As always, take care and God bless.